Hello guys, I'm Aloko Shai or Enoch. Welcome to another tutorial session on create your dream world with Python programming. And in today's session, we shall explore how to create and automate various artistic 2D and 3D pattern using a special Python module known as Toto. Okay, so we can create stellations of plane shapes, explore infinite artistic pattern beyond the user's widest dream, and that should be based on the user's specification though. Isn't that cool guys? Okay, um, let me see what we have here. This is my Python shell, Python 3.43. Okay guys, um, so hi guys, welcome to another tutorial session on create a dream world with Python programming. If you are ready for the show, can I know your name? Sure, you can know my name. I'm Aloko. Aloko Shio, Enoch. Um, is that I can type my name anyhow, but I don't want to do that, guys. I don't just want to type it any. So um, first, okay. So it's cool like that. That's my name. So what do you have to do? So how are you doing today, Aloko Shio, Enoch? Can I help? I can help sketch any form of polygon. Whoa. Okay. So this AI can help me sketch any form of polygon and also inscribe isometric figure accordingly so um this ai can perform um different tasks though but we have um four different options here the first option is to construct the required plane shape and uh, second that is two to construct a required plane shape and mark out each angle and three is to inscribe asymmetric solid block in the required plane shape and four if you want to form a um, installation star okay or polyhedron net or amazing artistic pattern the, this amazing artistic pattern i don't really understand but i think should i start with that let me explore um three let's start with three I, let me see how you go to inscribe some stuff for me okay so um type the number of side for the polygon okay um let me go for um three six okay so this is three okay so go for hexagon six okay so let's see what you can do with hexagon Say magical pen construct the required plane shape with six centimeter. Okay, let me see the construction. Can you start now? It's doing it already. Okay, yeah, that's the construction is going on already. Whoop, 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 whoop. They, this, this is amazing. Do you, you can see this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have hexagon here, and and this, you know, this isometric. Um, when you have isometric grid in, in mathematics, and you are asked to like elevation, plane elevation kind of stuff. This is a good one. This, this is a powerful AI. Okay, what else can you do for me? And uh, let me see. Uh, then I says um, magical pen construct the required plane shape with side six centimeter to form planetary variant star pattern oh sketch complete okay so that's the information okay let me see why did i close it i'm not sure i did let me run the program again okay so let's run and see what i want to go for another option now before i go to show you how to do the same this time around i need to play around so um, my name this time around i am negato what yeah negato uh itachi 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 um sasuke I'm Negato Itachi Sasuke. How are you to, today, Negato Itachi Sasuke? Okay, um, this time around, let me go for four. This polyhedron amazing artistic. I need to see what's amazing there. Four guys. Okay, um, type. Okay, so um, um, go for. Can I go for six again? Five this time around. So I go for pentagon, magical pen construct. Okay, let me see the construction. Is it going on already? Uh, magical pen five centimeter for plan invariant this time around. Oh, let's see the invariant. What? What? Yeah, be, the, this is super cool. So what's going on here? Well, okay. Do you see what I have here? I have star. It's like I have a star inscribed in this kind of. What? This is actually artistic design. I'm not a cool artist. I'm just a mathematician and ICT. So that's a wonderful pattern, though. Um, let me just try this last exploration and uh, let me do this time around uh, let, let me just go for a plain shape i don't want anything inscribed in i just want to do something very simple then i want you to help me to mark out the uh, each angle so that would be option two two okay uh, i don't need to read all this again so just go for um i can help sketch any form of polygon okay so let me go for two yeah how are you doing today i type two or something like that type your name two <laughs> This is not funny. Type your name. I type two. I'm just so playful. Anyhow, how are you doing today? Two. Yeah, that's my name. I'm two. Okay. So now this time around to construct the required plane shape. Um, two. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, can I say go for? Let me go for octagon this time around. 
octagon is eight so go ahead and do that magical pen constructs um, eight centimeter um so octagon so let me see have you started yeah it, it's doing the tax already this is one two three four five six seven eight and it indicates each angle guys and uh, this is a cool one do you care to create a cool app like this then let me teach you how to do this guys let's get started with python programming i'm going to um just go to file new uh, so this is uh my test uh my python editor is just like your um your, your like your plain programming editor like you have your um your notepad so now you see everything is over and i just have my plane um so I, I can do my coding here so now to get started with this program if you want to create this um, wonderful program um the first thing for you to do um because um i need to do some kind of stop take a laugh before you finish the construction etc so the first thing i'm going to first module i'm going to import is known as time so i need time module so that i can perform um a time does sleep and relax for five minutes or for ten minutes so that's the first module i need then secondly in order to um, do any artistic construction in python you need a module known as turtle so i'm going to import turtle okay turtle it's like turtle like turtle uh, turtle is like, i don't know i don't let me start playing already i have a lot to do okay now so i, I just want to do some stuff I just say, hello guys how are you doing today it is like that so let's print function so don't forget that your print function is to output information okay you just want to um just greet the let me just say i okay hi guys i like saying guys 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 okay so hi guys um welcome to today's um today's tutorial tutorial section okay on ah uh, guys if you look at this i use double code here yeah? So I can use single quotes um, inside on. So use single code because if you use double code, then it's going to recognize this as object or like a placeholder. Okay, so um, create your dream world. Create your dream world. I don't like dreaming, guys. I don't know. Dream world with Python programming. Python programming. Okay, so um, end this code like this. Then um, I think I can go with double code now. What am I doing? Yeah, <laughs> don't mind me. I can end like this. <laughs> okay, okay, right, guys. Um, so that I will know if I made mistake. If this turn to black, for example, if if I do something like this, will it turn to black? No, it's okay. Don't mind me. I think it's okay. You don't need to put single code there, okay? Since I'm not putting up there. It's just because of this colon, so I was a little bit confused. Why the confusion at this time? Hello, code. Stop playing. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, now, then I want to print something else. Um, if you are ready for today's show, can I get to know your name? Something like that, okay? Print. Uh, double quote. You can use single quotes. Let me just show you that you can use single quotes. If you are ready are you ready yeah so if you are if 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 you are ready for today's show uh today's show is, is a show right greater show man what am i typing yeah this is where there is a trouble i don't say today's show so how do i do that today's show i put come out today's show okay i'm going to end it today's show don't worry let's see what will happen there today's show oh my okay i need to do something there okay can i get to know your name can i get to can i say can i get can i know your name which one can i get to know your name can i get to know you can i get to know you english huh? can i get to know you oh my can i know your name i'm okay with that can i know your name okay sorry about that I, I just like playing okay okay now the problem i have here is this single code let me see if double quote will avail me then i have to use single in between there ah yeah so guys you see now because of this single quote here and if you start with single code this single quote will affect it another thing you can do is you can use double single quote here single quote here and use double here but i can't use today's double that's why it will not work okay 
I, I was just trying to show you that you can use double code also for um for string no problem about that okay so that's that then um this time around since i asked for your name here then you have to give me your name so let me create a placeholder or object that is name so then now uh, you can type your name here for me can i say give me your name okay type your name here type your name here guy so type your name there okay for name i can show you that you can use single quotes here now let me just use single quotes for this one so in order to show you that you can use single quotes so you can just alternate between the two okay it's just because of this today's apostrophe day okay so um so now when i ask you give me your name here then um when you type your name it will be stored inside this name so it's, it's a placeholder then i can now make use of that information with this and print function so i'll just print can i just go let's let's go to uh, i'm tired of english right let's go dutch it's been i know uh, it's, it's been it's been i'm a deutsch whatever i'm not good it's fresh i'm patient deutsch okay uh let me just say v gate uh v gate is there whitey uh because this is the oite um then i can take your name okay uh because is the oite uh then take name okay so but i can't put command there something is wrong uh, so we get as the oite i supposed to close this one let me close this code here double right yeah so i'll take name so um how are you doing today something like that I don't know don't mind me i just like to play i will change it later <laughs> don't mind so uh, we get this how are you doing today but um i wouldn't know if you get whatever i care little about that <laughs> i'm not a german guy but it's cool right i like them right okay so um next now this time around i need to define my um functions okay so because i'm going to have a lot of in this for this um very tutorial can i quickly save this thing okay let me just quickly save it because it's on title so let me quickly save so that in case anything happens guys i can't start all over it will be the serious guy can i call it um um construction ai or something like that or oh, artistic ai let me just say that artistic ai artistic ai2 something like that ah it's okay so artistic ai2 okay so now let's continue now now it we ask you how are you doing today um your name here yeah, okay something like that so now this time around i want to define um i'm go, i'll use um the main type of function i'll use today is uh what we call for loop okay so i'll use for loop to do everything here yeah? so but i'm going to have it um inside a i want to have a bunch of function in a single um tag that i want to define now so define main or you can say define um function or the, uh, just say define function just you can just say define start the define um artistic or something but i just want to i like define main okay so def is defined okay so then i have my menu option now so menu option okay so different tasks that my ai can perform so that is my menu option okay now so menu option equals to okay so you impute so you can put um different um numbers here now guys because i have different option now the difference between if you want to, instead of for me to use um backslash okay backslash is um when, when you have uh, this this look ne like negative graph okay backslash is like negative graph in, in to mathematics why forward slash is like positive graph this one this positive graph forward slash so instead for you to use backslash to um separate um different something i will use um this um three three quotes one two oh so i'm sorry about that one two three so i don't want to use backslash because I, i'm going to have option one option two option three and i don't want to use backslash to separate backslash n another way you can do this one is to do um backslash n okay negative slope n but i don't want to use that okay to separate option one two three four but i will, ju I will just put everything in here now so this, this is a good one okay so i can help so i want to tell you what the ai can do i can help sketch so i can help sketch um, any form um 
any form of uh, polygon or polyhedron. Okay, let's say any form of um, polygon, any form of polygon and um, inscribe, inscribe isometric. I don't know um, English uh, isometric figures accordingly. Isometric solid 3D figure. Not necessarily yeah, 3D, yeah. 3D. 3D. Um, can I say 3D what? 3D shape, 3D. Uh, 3D figures, uh, whatever, figures. 3D figures uh, accordingly. Guys, uh, sorry about that. Guy. I'm not English major. Guy, <laughs> I don't know, but I think uh, you understand what I'm trying to tell you there. Yeah? Okay, so I can help sketch any form of polyhedron. Why do I use um, uppercase here, poly? Because all this English teacher telling what, what's, what's wrong with this? Aluko, what is this? Should be this is a now word. Who cares? This is programming now word. Yeah, okay, so uh, that is that. Okay, so now, so I can go for my option now. So now, one, when if you enter one, then my AI should do what? So my AI will tell you to construct. Why not use uppercase D to construct? I think uh, I can it play too much to construct um, a required. Uh, is it required? A required place. <laughs> what? It's because of this jammer, what's me to put the gators there? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry to construct a required plane shape. Uh, uh, English plane is that plane shape? I don't know whether uppercase or lowercase. I think I'm cool with this one plane shape okay okay i think that's cool that's a good one one should do that for me then option two um option two you're going to do the same thing uh, i don't want to waste much time let me just copy do the same thing and mark out um each angle indicate angles okay two equals um then control v okay plane shapes and mark out each angle or corresponding angle each angle okay whatever each angle hango ready spare hango okay so um option three why are you giving me input can you stop this ah let me see what i'm typing okay option three uh, i can put space there you need not to put space uh, i'm not sure that it doesn't mean so um this one says to inscribe to inscribe um isometric this time around instead of can i see to inscribe maybe stellation polyhedron net something like that i wouldn't know maybe yeah or to inscribe stellation polyhedron net or whatever from just like what i have there but it's not a bad one to inscribe um just i think no not necessarily stellation because stellation in mathematics means that the, 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 the shape will not overlap so it need not to be stylation. So don't let me don't let me restrict it because I can have some pattern that will overlap. So it need not to be stylation. Okay. So uh okay, so that's that's a good one. So now th this one, let's just say to inscribe isometric. Okay, I think I like that isometric grid that when I use them. Um, so isometric. So isometric um solid shape. Let's say solid. Let's say 3D guys. 3D figures. Okay. Is it figures? Huh? Figure. Mm, I think I like figure. Okay, cool figure, right? Okay, um, isometric um, or solid block or figure. Okay, three D figure uh, or three D blocks. Ah, whatever. Okay, in the in the um, in the plane shape. To describe isometric three D um, figure in the uh, maybe a required plane shape because you are going to give me the number. So you are the one that asks me to. In the required plane shape by the user okay required plane shape okay i think i like it like this so and the last option that will be four guys i'm playing too much i hope i'm going to manage my time well so this one says i'm um, to form um need not need not to be stellation but um i, I can have different options so let's say um stellation star okay um because i have small stars like big stars i can also do something more than that i can have like um isometric um all this elevation kind of figure then like you are you can have a polyhedron okay polyhedron 
polyhedron okay from the word polygon okay polyhedron net okay and i can also have let's just end it with oh amazing i think i like that word amazing amazing artistic pattern yeah artistic artistic pattern okay so guys uh mathematics can do everything and coding can do everything coding is all about mathematics guys okay so um at this point now i need to close this don't forget another way you can do this another way you can do this is just to put um backslash and n so but i don't want to do that i already i you have this three then you put it here put it here and that so but since i have three quotes there so uh, what i'm just going to do here now is to just end with um three quotes so i'll just bring this down and put one two three so that should work okay I, i'm not going to try out my program yet okay um let me see if i actually close that well let me do it again oh what am i doing sorry about that okay good so yeah menu option game over okay now so now you provide me with the length of each um of the plane shape you desire to, of the polygon you want to sketch so let me say of side s so side okay so then uh, input so then i want to get this from the user now okay now guys because you have to type um integer i don't want you to give me float so some some of my kids so soon they can be quite naughty they'll just let me hey aluko come here i don't i want a polygon with 1.1 <laughs> or, or 4.2 so don't give me float guy so in that case i need to sanitize this i don't want 1.1 so that you don't mess up my program so integer okay so i sanitize it okay so then you can but if i put float here then you can put because if you put anything other than integer then my program will tell you um error so you have to type the correct stuff so um so that's that okay so then input so you can type your type and you know something i observe um these days little children can make you to be better in your profession because they just want to do something very naughty and it's make you to go and do more research and and be better off okay so maybe i'm going to see how we can sketch um i don't know for your polygon with some um, decimal side i don't know the possibility of that it's possible though okay so type the number okay of uh type the number of side uh for the polygon something like that number of sides okay for the polygon for the polygon so that my english teacher will not tell you this should be uppercase polygon is is a noun word guys there's so many rules in this life i don't understand okay so let's just do that okay yep so um now when you type this then side will take that information then um i can go ahead and do that okay so now the problem i have here now i made a mistake here and uh, not a mistake though and now this one type the number of something i'm going to i completed this function here then i need to my sanitizer okay <laughs> this is sanitizer yeah this is a sanitizer so it didn't just so I, that's cool now conditional statements so if menu option is one do this if menu option is two do this if menu option is three do that so that's what i want to do now okay so now if and then i will run this and see before i complete it now because i've written a bunch of code and, and i'm not trying to test run to see if what i'm doing is correct don't mind me guys okay so if menu option okay so now this is this equals sign you know what that means guys um uh, um what do you call it um equivalent oh uh, yeah equivalent okay so when you have relation different type of relation okay so equivalent equals sign relation okay so um don't let us go into mathematics guy okay so if menu option equals um one guys coding is all about mathematics too so it's, it's all about that so if menu option is one then what should happen then you print um then i summon my magical pen kakusa magic guys don't forget um the part one of this video we use um m block to 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 create this type of artificial intelligence then this is a python version of it and you can compare both m block and python and see the one that is cool but i trust my ks2 kids and they, they like m block they can't be writing this bunch of code it makes no sense but they can drag all the blocks there and get the solution guys okay so print what but this time around i'm not going to put kakosa magic huh so I'll, I'll be a little bit mature guy so uh let's just but let's see play so let's just say magical pen magical pen jutsu 
magical pen jutsu like sasuke no sasuke i don't want i don't even know how to spell jutsu again uh, i think that's it is is i think jutsu is um is is, is um is the japanese word okay i think so okay um magical pen jutsu constructs constructs um construct um the required based on the user specification okay so the required um plane shape let's say plane shape um based on the user specification okay so now now this user specification only because i have side so let me just take the side now i'm just put this i want to end this one so i take this side from the user because i created side here so i take this side now and i use uppercase here so you should use up if you use lowercase here then you should use lower because it's case sensitive so this should be side i take take that side from the user then and, and end with centimeter i think i don't need to put um space there centimeter it, it could be inches it could be anything but i just want to choose centimeter i'm not sure the um python dimension is actually uh, maybe it should be in pixel or something like that so can i just use pixel or something let me just say px why well, I, I care little about that guys <laughs> not to scale okay so not to scale let's say my pattern is not to scale guys i, I care little about centimeter inches uh, before i waste all the the whole day guys um so that when you print that then um now i don't want everything to quickly and uh, before i check the console where the construction is being performed and time to sleep guys oh okay, this is called period okay so don't forget um when you want to use a function inside the function so um i'm i let me take 10 seconds here because um 10 seconds that's too big yeah because it's a plane shape before i get to the console where the uh the, the stuff is going on so let's just use 10 seconds there and um that's that before i try this let me quickly start my um let me start my loop program so now for loop now don't forget that in for loop um you know for for um a step in a range so um for let's say for step or so that i don't waste my time let's say for i but for step but in, in most programming you see people write for i in something or for something so this this you can just write for um okay anything okay so it's okay so you can just vary the something so let me just say that first step in range um in range um so now I, I want to this is i want to construct based on your specification so in range side okay because range is could be four five six so in range side and don't forget that it's case sensitive so you see the side you put here is the upper case lower case so you have to put it there in range five okay so that's what i want Okay, so now for step in range five, then what should happen? Now when you use for loop, you use this column. Okay, so then um thought two. I already import thought two. Okay, so thought two should do this for me. Thought two. Okay, dot color because I want to guys. I don't know whether I should use pink or yellow or green. Um, let me let me use green. I don't know whether green will be cool. JP. Let's use red. No no no. Let, let me go for green green okay but this is all green guy let's just blue why, why am i not so <laughs> why am i playing i'm just being like a ks2 kid blue use yellow like my so use pink i look or use car stop go and use blue i don't understand use blue when you're writing your own code okay but i'm using blue already okay so blue okay uh then talk to dot forward talk to dot forward so it's removed forward as in dimension draw the dimension there so i want like 100 step 100 step as though you are just say 100 step because i'm in scratch programming or step okay so and then uh, total dot right because you have to get some a uh, based on angle guys i need to quickly teach you something and how do i get to know this um right i'll quickly show you something now dot right okay um um in a polygon this time around let me quickly import my um i need to use my um light shot so that i can write something and show you something can you quickly come out light shots 
okay i don't know whether i should quickly pause the video so that um, i will not spend too much time okay light shot come out here light shot be fast time is going okay yeah good so i have my light shot now i can quickly show you what i need to teach you here now guys um don't forget that in when you have a polygon the the exterior angle generally is 360 okay so if you want to have each interior angle you divide by n okay so that's what i want to do here now so that we have each angle there okay so now so for total right so each angle here should be 360 divided by the side specified here so if you specify four then it's going to divide 360 by four then that will be 90 degree then it will have a corner 90 90 degree for square something like that so that what is going on there okay going on there going on there guys okay by side okay so i think that is clear then next i can print the show now uh print um let's say sketch completed so that i will know when my stuff is done okay sketch completed or diagram completed or whatever completed so i want that feedback okay then um i can do time does sleep just time does sleep maybe a second is okay this time around one then um return and i need to return because so that my program will not hang and it will keep running okay so return okay so return to the and uh, start all over again then i can close my function here for this very first one okay so let's see um let's run this one then i'll see the effect and from there then i will just copy and paste and kick off okay now so let's see what we have here but the only option i have here is one so i can't do two or three or four or five so let's see what we have in here so let's run the program okay so guys i hope everything is okay yay thank you so hi right, guys i'm not going to read all this we get that there uh okay so uh we get type your name here so what happened there um type my name there and i put my name okay maybe can i just close this main main let's see maybe that's the reason so let's see now and see what, what, what is going to work now at least you give me let me be able to type my name at least ah good now guys so don't forget because if you don't end that main it will not work okay so i got welcome to all the english something so the control requires so one because i only finished program for one so let me go for eight octagon then let's see whether it's going to construct octagon for me i think it's going to take how many seconds mass due to where are you you require specify something okay due to how many minutes did i give okay yay it works okay so that's octagon okay so now um i think can i just take this away okay so that's you have to end this main because of this main you define here that's why it will not just okay so but i don't need it now so i can go ahead and, and, and do the remaining one so at this stage now since i know that i'm going to use loop i will just copy from here then I, i'm going to ne do a nested loop so that i can inscribe others inside you understand so but uh, for now let me just bring this one down a little copy so let me just do my next loop here okay so now um the next thing now here is um if menu option is two now if menu option is two i think i'm mathematical due to this is still okay i don't have any problem with this and um i see i don't have problem with this either um forward on 360 and um so the only thing now i need here is um I need to now take this for loop again arrange and now make it a little bit smaller or bigger or whatever it depends on what i want to do now so uh, from this for loop i need this information from this for loop yeah okay so what i'm now going to do now is just the size okay instead of 100 i can change it to 20 or something like that so and and that's that so come down here so uh, this is what we call nested loop because i want to loop inside loop okay so control v now okay now this now here um let me this for loop don't forget that when you have this you have to identify ident so but let me just see because i don't want to run into trouble this will help me to automatically identify so i can do my identification here now okay then this now okay now next now this is 100 if i have 100 here it's just going to draw everything inside it back so i need to make this one a little bit smaller 
So uh, this one, uh, um, I can make the total forward to be like um, maybe 5 or 20. It depends on the pattern. You can vary it, guys. But let me just use 5. Um, then I will tell you the reason why I did that. I can make it 20 and it depends on the type of pattern you want. Then it will tell me um, sketch um, completed. And this should be on with um, four, this 4 year. Then time, then return. I think everything is okay. So I need this one now for um, for 3 and 4. So let me copy this now. For 3 and 4. Copy. Then I will just, um, I will change, I will just change the dimension. So that is when it's 3. So when it's three, then um, I can still work with. Um, I have twenty there, okay. So this time around, let me just go. Okay, I have five there. I have five here, so let me go for twenty here. Let my forward be twenty here. So you can vary it. It depends on the type of pattern you want to construct. So you you can just improve on it. Then um, let me have my final loop here because I have four options. So when it is four. So when it is four. Then and when it is four, what type of you can just vary it. Okay, this time around I started with five, then I went to twenty. Then let, let me make it bigger. So let me make it bigger than hundred. I can make this one 150 or 200. But let me go for 150. So you can just vary it. You can create more menu option. Make 200, you can make it 1000. You just and uh, do many app patterns. Okay, I think I'm true already. Why did I do that? Okay. I just want to, it's okay. So let's run and see what we have here. I think my code good now i'm good to go due to yeah <laughs> i know i'm running to that's identity so where is it i didn't what am i identity print magical due to um i didn't even show me where guy don't start out with me at this point huh? okay um so where else okay no i didn't even complete my clothes okay so main then uh, because I use if, then um, let me just complete my code. I'm sorry about that. I'm just two. So, um, okay, and my if too, my if should come out here for I for stepping. So, this, oh my, 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 I have a lot of, I have a lot of work to do here. So, this first if here, so all my if should come out. 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 So I'm sorry about that. All my if come out. I think it's okay there. This one come out here. I think it's okay. This if here come out here. I think it's okay. And uh, last if. Okay, not last if so else. Now if if probably you would type instead of option four. Uh, maybe I have four options, menu option. Now let's say you put five, six, seven, or you a decimal number, then it's going to do this. Else, then so what should you do? Um, can I just print maybe print error? Your input is invalid or something like that. So print error. Uh your input, your input is uh, your input is invalid something like that i think it's good your input is invalid okay please subscribe to my channel <laughs> okay please subscribe subscribe to my channel guys uh, subscribe to my channel is free guys uh, it's free just do that and avail yourself okay then um then main Then I close my main. Okay, so I think I'm good now. Am I good? Yay, I'm good. I hope all my identification is cool. I pray. Everything should be okay now. Because I've spent a lot of time already. So, um, else. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. Um, This should be double quote because I use double quote here. So, this should be double quote. Why am I in hurry? No worry, guys. Um, that's why I like Python, guys. Yeah, everything is working perfectly well. Yippee! Hi, guys. Welcome to my tutorial session on create your dream world with Python programming. If you're ready for today's show, can I know your name? Uh, Vigate is there or it type your name here. <laughs> Do you know what happened? Because this is not... <laughs> you didn't give me... 
Why are you not giving me option to type my name? Because I didn't put my placeholder name. Okay, so I need to create this object name. I didn't create the object, don't mind me. Okay, name. So um I did guys. I did. So so what's going on? I put my name there and what 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 what? Okay, I didn't print it. We get as the I their name. So what? Can you run that in again? Uh because of my time, I don't I don't want to waste much time, guys. Uh, I do I can't afford to wait much time again. So let me just quickly check that out, guys. Pause. Okay, guys, don't mind me and no error there. Do you know what? Now I put my name here, but I did not <laughs> impute. So impute is a function that will help you to take um um to get um information from the user. So I'm supposed to type impute there, so that's why guys are ah, so playful. Okay, so input should be there. Or else it's not going to give me you I will not be able to um do that. Okay, so now now it's asking me for my name now. So this time around, guys, ah, let me just go for let's go multi combat four. Uh let me go for Tanya. Tan ya uh sub zero Tanya to sub 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 zero Tanya sub zero Liu King Liu let me just see Liu we get as the oite tire sub zero liu i can help sketch any form of polygon and describe a symmetric 3d figure accordingly uh guys because of our time let me just quickly um explore um um let's uh, explore three let's explore three six then three five let's explore three six okay three um so let me go for why am i six why am i six freak let me go for three five three five Okay, so mathematics due to pen due to is constructing. You can be reading the English there. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> based on the user specified five centimeter. I don't know how many. Good, it started. Yay. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, but I don't really like that pattern, guys. Okay, I don't really like that pattern. So let me just go for something like um. It's a cool one, though. It's a cool one. Okay, let, let me go for three five okay let, let's go for three five or uh, um uh, let, let me go for this magical four um let's go for four four five we get a zero four that's my name don't mind me huh four five okay so i want testilation or whatever okay pen you two what are you doing there can you start now i think i i you have to take sleep sleep for five minutes before you start the construction so are you ready yay so let's see what we have there what type of jutsu is that okay yippee that's a good one okay let me have something like star inside star okay something like that so that i have the other time okay so le let me do that this time around um let me go for um that should be three five something like that three five or four five um your name here uh shio my name is shio okay um let's go for three then five okay due to construct the plane shape based on the user specification uh, at this point i'm going to call it a day now um you can go ahead and, and do the play yeah yeah i think i did this before okay guys um i did that before okay guys um at this point now let me quickly call your attention to something we spent a lot of time already guys okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay and um, you can access it, um, as many vid, um, resource on this platform via my test shop. So we have math, ICT video, and, and coding um, um, uh, resources. So just go ahead and explore. Then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. And um, this is the um, the um, M block or let me say scratch desktop um, version of that AI. Okay, so go ahead and you can download and watch and do the same. Okay, and you can access us. This is my test shop, so you have access to all the resources all together. More than 50 um, uh, maybe teaching resources on ICT math and, and coding. And all the videos also via my um, website here. So at this point, guys, let's end it with this note. So let's call it a day and end it with this note. Guys, I um, do have a great day ahead. Let's end it with this note. Bye, guys. Make the streets up.
the streets up.